a bride's happiness on her wedding day. But it was this marriage which led to her murder. She came to this village in July because she was told her father was ill. But this was far from the truth. Findings are that the two persons, the girl's father and her ex-husband, they have been charged with murder. There were also reports of rape, that Samia was that raped. That is correct. Can you just give me more details about that? So we took the suspect for DNA test, Shaquille, and he later confessed that she, he did rape her before she was murdered. We understand from the police that a day before she was meant to leave Pakistan, Samia Shahid was in this house, which belongs to her husband, Mohammed Shaquille. Now, we don't know why she was there, but the police tell us that they have enough evidence to show that Shaquille had raped Samia before strangling her. Samia was once married to her cousin in Pakistan before she returned to the UK, filed for divorce and got married to her second husband, Mukhtar Qasim. Initially, her father had said that she died of a heart attack, but her second husband dismissed the claims and accused the family of killing her because they did not approve of their marriage. The police say they are now seeking the extradition of Samia's mother and sister from the UK for questioning in relation to the crime. Her father and ex-husband had appeared in court a number of times in the last few weeks. The police will now present the final report to the court and a date will be decided on when the two men will be indicted and when the trial will start. Shaima Khalil, BBC News, Jhelum.